Random facts about Grand Coulee Dam. Grand Coulee was built by the Bureau of Reclamation, which has some design habits that you see across most of their projects. One of them is this concept of an outlet works. We all know what a spillway is. It's the big thing that overflows when there's extra water. We all know what the power plants are, which pass water through the dam and generate electricity along the way. But remember, Bureau of Reclamation dams are typically built as irrigation projects first, which is why Grand Coulee and practically every other Bureau of Reclamation dam has what's called an outlet works an alternate way of passing water that doesn't generate power and does not include the spillway. In many of their smaller structures, this is actually the primary way that they pass water through the dam. In the case of Grand Coulee, the original design had the power plants as kind of an afterthought. Halfway through construction, World War II started, and the power plants went front and center. But meanwhile, you can still see the outlet works right there on the face of the spillway. I haven't crunched the numbers to see if they could actually pass the entire river, but I wouldn't be surprised if at some point that was the intent. Their size is deceptive. Each one of those tubes is large enough to drive a pickup truck through. Because of the three power plants and the ample spillway, it's very rare to see these outlet works actually in use. But it's nice to know that if everything else failed, there's still a way to get plenty of water through Grand Coulee Dam.